Hello everyone and happy Sunday. Okay, so just a quick one. Last week I was trying to to share an asymmetrical design. But unfortunately the the internet wasn't good, it was poor. But I went ahead to create the design and um, I took some pictures which I'll be making a note on later on. But I've, I've caught the fabric and I'm about to sew. Like I always say, before you like I always say, before you start running your machine, test it first. Test it to see if you love the stitches. And I, I already told you, you should test it with the fabric piece you're about to sew. Check the front and the back. So be sure they are stitching very well. Okay, my front is fine. I don't know if you can see it, but my back is not. Okay, so this tells me I need to thread the upper. I need to adjust the upper thread again. So, I'm just going to set, do some settings. It means my threading is not tight enough. It's loose. So I need to adjust it. Okay, let me do it and I'll show you what I've done and the effects. Okay, it's still not nice it's not locking well so I still have to adjust my threading okay always test your machine before you start sewing sort it out before you even start at all don't start sewing and you start struggling in between. Always search your machine and be sure it's working well. And that doesn't guarantee that anything cannot happen along the way. But at least set it first. Okay, this is very nice now. So I'm going to show you what I've done. going to bring the camera close okay and I'm going to turn it okay so this is what I've done this is my upper uh, the upper parts of my fabric pieces and and this is the wrong side okay so this was the first one I did and you can see it wasn't um, locking well this is the second one it wasn't locking well as well this is the third one which is good now I'm not sure if you can see the difference this is not locking well this is good so this is what I did Remember, it's the bottom piece that has issues, which tells me I have to, um, I have to sort out the upper thread. So at first, this wasn't here. Different machines with different um, threading method. Okay, this is this was what I did. Can you see? Let me just position it a bit. Right? Okay, so this and it goes into the needle. That was for the two um, two stitches so 
um, the third one, before I did the third one, I adjusted the tension here. Then I brought this thread down here to make it pass through the bottom of this um, metal thread. I tightened here, then into here. Then into the needle and it's okay now. Okay, like I said, different different machines will tell you how to go about the threading. Sometimes I don't have to, and that was why I did the first stitch, um, stitches without this passing through this metal. That's how I've been doing. I've sewn on um, this is raw silk fabric, by the way. I've sewn on cotton fabric. And I didn't have that issue and that's what that's what I keep telling people to always um, you know set your machine with the fabric piece you're about to sew because sometimes it might mean you have to change your needle the needle size we, we have different we have different um, needle size so it might mean you have to change your needle it might mean you have to rethread your Machine it might mean you have to adjust your tension. So always set your machine before you start sewing. Don't start sewing and get stuck in between blah 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 blah. Again, like I said, doesn't mean you can't get stuck in between, but at least that's the first thing to do before you start sewing. Set your machine, make sure Okay, sorry the internet. I started again so okay now that I am satisfied with how my machine runs I can start sewing I'll share pictures much later of um, the cutting and a bit of explanation on on the dress so I won't be doing that today so today tonight hopefully I just want to sew And I'm sewing raw silk. Okay, so I'm sewing raw silk and organza. And I'm going to finish this using the French seam. Yes, I'm going to do the French um, finishing. French finishing simply means you, you normally we sew on the wrong side. That is right sides of our fabric pieces together. And we'll sew. That's how we sew normally. But with the French finishing, you have to sew on the right side first, that is wrong sides of your fabric before you now turn it to sew on the wrong side. So that's basically French um, finishing. You can also look it up online. I'm always saying all these um, fashion terms so that you can also check it online and learn and see how it's done so I'm sewing on my right side the right side of the fabric first before out iron then turn and sew it on the wrong side of the fabric because like I said I'm using French seam French seam um, is used when you're sewing um, sheer fabrics like chiffon organza that you cannot really overlook or search so you sew them on the right side first then you turn and sew them on the wrong side that way you don't have to bother overlooking or searching them it just makes it very nice because um rock chiffon georgettes Judget chiffon, they are hard to overlook. Organza, you cannot overlook them neatly. So the best same finishing to use is um, French finish. Okay, I will be rocking this dress this week, hopefully. Inviting me to come and eat ram. Mm -hmm. Layer people, my Muslim friends. 
this invites me I want to eat ram now that my mom is gone if she was here now I'll go and eat ram in Ibadan so please send me an invite I will surely come I shall be there Okay, so it is fun, very, very fun. I'm sorry you are not seeing what I'm doing, but I'm just doing. Okay, so I was saying, Ilea, my Muslim friend invites me for Ilea. Okay. Invites me and I shall come and eat. Also, you can register for any of our courses. Um, our first, uh, we are resuming 27th of um, August, like I said, with the intensive, the five-week intensive class. And by popular demand, if you want to, the intensive class is basically a three-month um, course compressed into five weeks. So you can you can actually be a part. And another thing we, we want to do is if you don't want to take all the topics, because we have five topics, the basic bodies, that manipulation, um, rap, you can go online and check the course outline. So we'll be treating the five basic slippers and pattern making plus variation, dress variations, rap yoke, bustia, brazier, um, different um, skirt variations, mm -hmm. trouser, jumpsuit, sleeves, introduction to jackets. So let's say for instance um, you just want to take trouser and jumpsuit, you can actually. You don't want to take bodies and the variation. You can take the trouser and jumpsuit. Just call Okay, so just call me for inquiry. You can take one of the topics. You don't want to take all five topics. We've done it before where we had people saying, oh, I just want to take trouser and jumpsuit class. Or I just want to take um, the bodies class only. You can also do that. Just call to make inquiry. Registration ends 22nd. I think that's Wednesday. Just call, I'll put up the number soon. And yeah, we'll be glad to have you at ABSL. These are what you will be learning garment construction, professional finishing, how to finish your garments, different types of seams, like the one I just mentioned. Okay, so like I said, don't forget to always remove your pin. I used pin to hold my the two fabrics together because organza um, sleeps a lot, so I had to hold them together. So next thing is I'm going to take it to the ironing board first. If you can see. See, the organza is coming beyond this i'm going to trim it off to make sure they are equal before turning it to the wrong side so if i turn it to the wrong side you have something like this and i'm going to do my final sewing so you won't be seeing the raw edges once the fabric is turned to the wrong side okay i'll see you later i have to go Bye.